Today, we're diving into the high-stakes world of space rescue missions. We'll explore the cutting-edge technology, meticulous planning, and the incredible teamwork that go into ensuring astronauts can return safely to Earth. From emergency protocols to innovative spacecraft, discover how NASA is preparing for the unimaginable. Experienced astronauts Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore have been at the International Space Station since June 6th, even though they were initially supposed to stay for only eight days. This scenario may seem like the premise of a scary science fiction or horror film, two astronauts being stranded in space. However, for Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore, currently facing this situation on the International Space Station, the reality is quite different and not as frightening as Hollywood might depict it. Let's analyze the situation further. Who are the astronauts? At the ages of 61 and 58, Wilmore and Williams are seasoned astronauts with impressive backgrounds as naval officers and former test pilots. Williams has been a part of NASA's astronaut program since 1998, while Wilmore joined the ranks in 2000. Their extensive experience in space missions has equipped them with a wealth of knowledge and skills that are invaluable in the field of space exploration. Williams previously held the record for the most spacewalks conducted by a woman, totaling seven, and she also set the record for the longest cumulative time spent on spacewalks by a woman, clocking in at 50 hours and 40 minutes. Notably, in 2007, she made history by completing the first marathon ever run in space. Wilmore, on the other hand, commanded the space shuttle Atlantis during its journey to the International Space Station in 2009. In 2014, he was part of a groundbreaking mission aboard the ISS, where the crew utilized a 3D printer to create a ratchet wrench, marking a significant milestone as the first instance of humans manufacturing an object beyond Earth. What is their mission in space? Commander Wilmore and Pilot Williams embarked on their journey to the International Space Station, ISS, aboard a Boeing-designed capsule known as Starliner, which measures 15 feet in diameter. Their launch took place on June 5th, and they successfully docked with the ISS the following day, June 6th. NASA envisioned Starliner as a pivotal asset for transporting crews to and from the ISS marking a significant shift towards utilizing private companies for human spaceflight endeavors, as highlighted by the New York Times. This collaboration with Boeing signifies a broader trend of NASA integrating commercial partnerships into its space exploration strategies. Initially, Wilmore and Williams were scheduled for an eight-day mission at the ISS, where they would conduct tests on the Starliner and evaluate its performance with a human crew in the unique environment of space. However, unforeseen complications with the Starliner have extended their stay, pushing their return to 2025. During this extended mission, the astronauts have remained productive, collaborating with the ISS Expedition 71 crew to engage in various research projects and maintenance tasks, as reported by NASA. Their ongoing work not only contributes to the scientific community, but also helps ensure the continued operation and upkeep of the ISS. How did they get stuck in space? The Starliner faced delays in May due to a malfunctioning valve within the rocket, which prompted engineers to address a helium leak that emerged shortly thereafter. This series of setbacks has been challenging for Boeing, especially as it finds itself in a competitive race with SpaceX. Since 2020, SpaceX has been successfully transporting astronauts to the International Space Station ISS, completing over 20 missions without major incident, which has put additional pressure on Boeing to resolve its issues swiftly. On June 6, the Starliner launched on an Atlas We rocket, but faced three helium leaks and control thruster issues. Despite these challenges, they successfully docked with the International Space Station. SpaceX a company with a record of over 300 successful Falcon 9 missions has faced setbacks like a 2016 Falcon 9 explosion and a liquid oxygen leak in July, but has a strong track record in space exploration, highlighting the competitive landscape in the industry. The astronauts are safe. NASA has promptly assured the public that the astronauts are safe and not completely immobilized. In a statement released last week, NASA emphasized there is no urgency to return the crew to Earth.
This approach reflects the lessons learned from the tragic Columbia Space Shuttle incident. The teams at NASA and Boeing are diligently analyzing data from both in-space and ground tests, which will aid mission managers in making informed and safe decisions regarding the timing and method of the crew's return. A decision was finalized on Saturday. When and how are the astronauts coming home? Last week, NASA announced its decision to bring the Starliner spacecraft back to Earth without a crew, with the return expected to take place in September. Following this, astronauts Wilmore and Williams will be transported home aboard the SpaceX Crew-9 Dragon spacecraft, which is scheduled for an early next year launch. This decision reflects NASA's ongoing commitment to ensuring the safety of its crew members while continuing to advance its space exploration missions. According to NASA's statement, Wilmore and Williams will remain active members of the Expedition 71-72 crew until February 2025. They will return to Earth alongside two additional crew members who are part of the SpaceX Crew-9 mission. Originally, the Crew-9 launch was planned to accommodate four astronauts, but adjustments have been made to allow for the safe return of Wilmore and Williams, ensuring that the mission can proceed smoothly while prioritizing crew safety. NASA plans to return the uncrewed Starliner to the International Space Station in early September for a controlled autonomous re-entry and landing. Administrator Bill Nelson emphasized the risks of spaceflight and the agency's dedication to safety. Steve Stick, manager of NASA's commercial crew program, emphasized the importance of extensive testing and analysis for understanding Starliner's capabilities and ensuring a successful future crewed mission. Further updates will be provided as plans are finalized. What are the astronauts saying? NASA astronauts William Williams and Butch Wilmore have expressed satisfaction with their time on the International Space Station ISS, despite challenges with the Starliner spacecraft. Williams expressed satisfaction with their extended stay and praised the spacecraft's performance, despite some issues with thrusters. NASA's Flight Director Office, Norman Knight, announced plans to return the astronauts to the SpaceX crew Nine Dragon early next year. Both astronauts fully supported the agency's decision and expressed readiness to continue their mission aboard the ISS. Despite the challenges, both astronauts remain optimistic about their experience on the ISS. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the challenges and solutions of rescuing astronauts stranded in space. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on all things space exploration, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up.